What is going on everybody? It is Erock here bringing you guys a brand new video. Hope you guys are all having a great day today. Today's video is going to be another one of my sort of streamer tips videos aside from like the gameplay videos and everything that I normally do. So if you guys do enjoy the content, make sure you leave a like, comment and subscribe. It always helps the channel grow each and every day. Today's video we are talking about the new software that Elgato just released. Um, it's either called the I think it's the Epoch Cam or the Epoch Cam or something like that. Essentially, it is an app that you download from your phone and you also download it onto your PC, allowing you to use your phone as a webcam. Now, I know there's a lot of different websites, different apps out there that already allow this, but this is by far the best one I've seen and I wanted to share it with you guys today. Now, I think at the moment it's only for Apple products. I could be completely wrong, but on their website and everything, it only shows um, to download from the App Store via the Apple. So, um, and there's also two versions. There's a free version, which I wouldn't recommend getting just because there's not many features and you can only allow your uh, webcam or your phone to play in like 640p or something with the Persian you can buy it's only $7.99 so essentially if you're trying to look for a webcam instead of paying like $50 $60 or the overpriced Logitech's right now just because of like the COVID and everything right now you can just use your phone for $8 and you can get your phone's quality and iPhone cameras have pretty decent quality right now you're seeing um, my webcam my Logitech you're not seeing my phone currently but so and they make this a super easy way to download. It's only four simple steps. So we're going to go through that right now and I'll show you how to do that. So if you head over to the Logitech website, currently it is uh, like on the main page. But if you see this video and it's not on the main page anymore, just go over to capture and then the Epoch cam. I'm probably saying it wrong, like I said, but so yeah, essentially this is all it is. It's just setting up your phone. So the first thing you have to do here is download it from the Apple store. Um, I'll show you guys right here. This is what it looks like. I already purchased it. If it this top one here, the blue one is the one you buy. And the white one down below is the free version. Like I said, I recommend just buying it. It's only $8. And uh, yeah, so download that. The next step here is to download it for your PC. So just click on Windows or Mac, whichever one you tend to use it for. Just download it. It's going to ask you to download. Just obviously hit run or OK, open, save, um, download the drivers and everything. And then the next thing you do is connect it to your phone. The great thing about this, you don't have to plug this in. You can connect it through Wi-Fi um, to get the overall best quality and signal, though. You can just plug it in via a USB. If you do plan on plugging this in via USB, you have to download iTunes. If that, I was having trouble with this at the start and I didn't realize that, you must download iTunes for this to work, plugging it into the phone. So keep that in mind. If you're playing through uh, wirelessly through Wi-Fi, just connect it through Wi-Fi and you'll be set to go. All right, so once you have it all downloaded and everything, it's going to be uh, wherever you have it saved, it's going to be the Epoch Cam Test. Just give that a nice little double click and it will bring up this screen. So this is basically um, what you'll be looking at. Um, obviously, mine's not connected yet. So when you do connect it, it's going to ask you for permissions on uh, like your camera and everything. So just make sure you hit OK with all of those. We'll hit done. And now it is. Now it has loaded up on my phone right here. You can see that right there. And then I will put it over to my monitor screen. So you can see my phone right there. It's all right there. Yes. Hello. Um, before I go into that a little bit, I want to show you guys you can like obviously you can like flip it around and edit it however you want to. Um, if you hit on the cog wheel on the left side here, it will show you that you can change qualities and everything. So you can go auto with Wi-Fi or whatever. You can go quality, fair, good, best or whatever. I'm going to click on Wi-Fi because I'm on Wi-Fi currently and I'm going to go to best quality. Now, keep this in mind. You will also have to um, make sure your phone like the, the screen doesn't turn off. You have to turn that to never um, if it because then your screen will go blackened or whatever. And then um, 
yeah, it'll just kind of close and you won't be able to record. So you got to keep your phone always on. It does get a little hot too, so keep that in mind. Just be aware. Um, but yeah, so that's how you get it connected and everything. So what I'm going to show you guys now is I'm going to show you guys how you can implement it into OBS because I'm, I'm sure like a lot of you are going to be like streamers or something that are doing this. This is going to look a little crazy at first because I put my OBS monitor on uh, my screen and everything. So what you're going to want to do is I'll remove myself for the second here. Come down to this add on like you would with a normal webcam. Go to video capture device. It's going to ask you to select it or name it however you want. Just hit OK and then it'll be in the drop down here. You just go to Epoch cam or whatever. So this is my normal webcam. You just click on the Epoch one and then you're going to want to set your resolution. I set it to custom because I want 1920 by 1080. Um, 30 FPS is the max on this at the moment. Um, if you have a phone that can do go 4K and everything, I don't know if they can do that yet. They might be working on it. but. So yeah, we're doing 30 FPS. I know you guys can't see much right now. Just give me a second to hit OK. All right, so now that both of them are enabled, this is going to be kind of scuffed. But I just wanted to give you guys an exact of like what this is looking like. All right, so now I have it all good to go and everything. I was having a slight issue there. So the uh, camera on the left side of the screen is my Logitech camera. The camera on the right side of my screen or that you guys are seeing is the app itself running uh, with my phone. I have an iPhone XR. I also have this have worked on my iPhone 7. Um, so it works on all generations of iPhones, like majority of them, I should say. Camera quality is good. Um, keep in mind, the one on the right, like I said, is the, the one going through the app. It's on my phone. I'm going through Wi-Fi, so the quality isn't going to be as good as it could be. The quality can go even better if you have it plugged in. I just don't have it plugged in. I just want to show you through the sake of this video. Latency, um, you can see this is through Wi-Fi. Like latency is good. Um, you can fix the colors and everything if you want to as well. I just wanted to show you guys a difference in quality. It's not that much different. Um, so like if you're if you don't have a webcam or anything at all, this is such a good option and for only eight dollars if you have an extra phone laying around or you just want to use your phone um, it's a great option to do um, so let me know what you guys think of all of this it's very simple and easy to set up i think it's a great thing that they did um, but i'm going to exit out of the video here because my arm is getting tired if you guys have any questions or anything about this make sure you leave it down below thank you guys for the support consider subscribing leaving a like on your way out and uh, yeah, if I forgot anything, like I said, uh, ask me down below. I'll be sure to answer any questions that you guys do have. And I will see you guys in the next one.